بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون وی آر مووینگ فارورڈ ود آر کرپشن ماڈیول اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ انویسٹیگیشن آف کرپشن بیکاز ڈیفینیٹلی ڈوئنگ کرپشن از ایزی بٹ انویسٹیگیٹنگ اٹ اینڈ دین انشورنگ دیٹ دیر از اے دیر از اے پروسیکیوشن کنوکشن اگینسٹ دا کرپ پیپل دیٹ اٹ سیلف از ویری چیلنجنگ بٹ وٹ وی گوئنگ ٹو سی از از دیٹ ہاؤ ود ان آرگنائزیشن وی کین پارٹیسپیٹ ان دی انویسٹیگیشن آف کرپشن ناؤ لیڈیز اینڈ جینمن ہینڈلنگ آف رپورٹس از اے پری کنڈیشن فار انویسٹیگیشن ایجنسیز ہینڈل ان کمنگ رپورٹس آف کرپشن از ویری کروشل بیکاز اٹ افیکٹس دی امیجیٹ کیس سو از ویری امپارٹنٹ ٹو انشور دیٹ دی ڈفرینٹ ایجنسیز آر اپ ٹو دا مارک اینڈ آلسو گیئرڈ فار دیٹ پرٹیکلر پرٹیکلر کرپشن ایشو پیپل رپورٹنگ وانٹ ٹو بی سرٹن دیٹ ایکشن ول بی ٹیکن وے وارنٹیڈ اینڈ دیٹ از ویری نیچرل دیٹ اٹ از جسٹ ناٹ ٹو رپورٹ اٹ از ٹو انشور that a positive action is taken against them and again uh, the whistleblower does not become a victim of the all powerful and all rich uh, corrupt individuals within the organization or within the community at large uh, then we talk about the fact that in nigeria 33.7 uh, cases of reported bribery were never followed up so uh, that is very sad uh, because nigeria also is a muslim country and if 33.7 percent which basically means one third Uh, are not reported then this is very perturbing and some remedial action should be taken uh, against the perpetrators uh, handling of reports should be done with certain uh, qualities of fairness uh, organizations and governments should provide information to the public on what how and where matters can be reported in australia for example uh, the office of the commonwealth ombudsman agency uh, basically uh, produced the guide uh, to the public interest disclosure act 2013 and that uh, is a very good guide Uh, for people to understand uh, what are the different responsibilities uh, there should be clear procedures about when reports can be handled internally by the organizations procedures about when they must be investigated by an external body such as anti corruption agency or the police so again these different sops uh, and these different machinations uh, should be properly documented and available so that people uh, can uh, proceed ahead uh, without uh, the flinching of responsibility then we move a little bit ahead and organizations must find ways to prevent corruption and also of complaint handling there are so many standards there's iso 9000 there's iso 14000 there's iso 17025 and many more uh, but the one which is related uh, to integrity and to accountability and to truth uh, is the iso the international organization for standardization uh, context of uh, iso 37001 which basically is the anti bribery management system so uh, that uh, any company can move forward and try to incorporate it within uh, itself and come out with this distinction uh, of having an iso 37001 uh, certification which is about anti bribery so again uh, it would institutionalize anti corruption uh, in a very good way Uh, the united nations handbook on practical anti corruption measures for prosecutors and investigators identifies four key responses to corruption so again this is a very interesting handbook and you can download it uh, from the un site uh, and this talks about four key responses to corruption uh, criminal or administrative prosecution so our court should be made more effective and wherever there is a roadblock uh, then uh, the senior court can always order them to remove that particular roadblock be it be physical or mental and proceed ahead uh, in a better way uh, there could be disciplinary action uh, of an administrative nature which uh, should be a little bit more milder but it could be there just to make the student understand uh, how important it is uh, that there has to be disciplinary action uh, bringing or encouraging civil proceedings and then remedial action so these are the different four uh, key steps uh, responses uh, mentioned by the united nations handbook on practical anti corruption measures for prosecutors and uh, that again ensures that if we do it in such a way then we can curtail corruption within the organization within the community and also at a global level thank you so much